Okay, so this one is interesting. It's a leg press, and it says that you have two springs, K1, let's say, and K2. So that might be a little bit confusing, but if you have two springs, everything happens like you have a single one with a spring constant K. Okay, because of course, if you have two springs, it's going to be harder to compress. Okay, and, and here you are laying on, uh, I, I don't know how to make a drawing. Here you are pressing on, on the spring here. Okay, so initially it's at rest. Okay, it's at, uh, it's not compressed. So let's say this will be position zero and you can compress here and it say it's going to be the position here. It's going to be 0 0.2. You are, you are compressing, compressing the spring, um, by 0 0.2 meters, which is 20 centimeters, right? So once it's compressed, of course, you're going to have a, Restoring force here pushing back. So there was a restoring force pushing back. So let's say once the spring are compressed here, there will be a restoring force here pushing back. And everything happens like it's one single spring. That restoring force will be equals to K. And then by how much is being compressed? So 0 0.2. Except that I do not have K. So we need to find K, which is the equivalent spring constant for both, both of them. So you need to find K. So what is given to you is that the work that you are doing. Okay. So the work you are doing work. Okay. That work is going to be stored into the system here. So that work will be turning into elastic potential energy. So that will be equals to 0 0.5 K and then the 0 0.2 square. What you cannot do because the force pushing back is changing with the distance here. It's not a constant force. So you cannot say that the work, okay, will be equals to the force, okay, x um, times the displacement. Okay, let's say delta x. You, 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 cannot, you cannot say that because the work done, you have to integrate from 0 to 0 0.2. Okay, so you have the force here. And have a dx, okay, because that's going to change with the distance. And that's how we find it. So you, you cannot do that. Okay. So once you have solved this, okay, you multiply by two here and then you divide by 0 0.2 square and you find a spring constant of 4,000 Newton per meter. And that's going to be the equivalent spring constant for those two springs. Once you have that, you see that when the spring is compressed, you have this restoring force here. So you have F equals KX. So that's going to be K, 4,000 times 0 0.2. That's going to be equals to 800 Newton. Okay. Now, um, so from here, you're going to compress even more. So you go from 0 0.2 to another 0 0.2. So all together, it's going to be 0 0.4. So you go from that position here, you compress, compress, and now it's going to be 0 0.4. So here you have also, uh, you, you need to be also careful because the work done will be, okay, so you go from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. So the force will be kx dx. 
So you see that the work that you are doing is going to be stored in elastic energy. So that will be the change in elastic energy. And that's going to be one half K. That's going to be the final uh, compression. So 0 0.4 minus the initial. Okay. So that was a little bit challenging. So the work that you're going to do will be equals to 0 0.4. That's going to be 4,000. That's going to be 0 0.4 square minus 0 0.2 square. And if you do that, it's going to be 242. So to go from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, you have to do more work than just going from 0 to 0 0.2. So that's the idea of those. Uh, Press, press leg. You see, you multiply by uh, three, so three times the energy. Now, the work, okay, so the maximum force, so the force, okay, so will be, so here the restoring force is K times X, which is 0 0.4, so it's going to be 4000 times 0 0.4. And you're going to find 1,600 Newton. So you see it's more than the 800 Newton. Okay, so maybe I buy two. Okay, so that was a nice one.